What is going on guys? It's the Mad Dragon. We are back doing our World Cup series with the USA. It's been a, uh, a tough old opening first round for us. Last week we played Georgia uh, in a game I was hoping to maybe leave with a bonus point in and uh, I'm not gonna lie I struggled to even get some points. You can go check that video out first if you haven't already. Week two uh, we are going on to face France, the uh, currently, I believe, the top team uh, of the pool. No, Scotland are currently top because they've played two um, and therefore are actually doing a little bit better due to points difference. But we're playing France now uh, in terms of the results that we had uh, last week. So what went on elsewhere in the world? So in terms of some fixtures that have already happened then, of course, uh, we had a couple of scores from last week. But so far in this round, uh, England have beaten t uh, Fiji, barely. 23 points to uh, to 21. England just about scraping by on that one. And Japan beating Tonga, 25 points to 10. Uh, Italy having a fantastic game against Samoa. They bounced back from that loss against Australia uh, and come back to a 47 points to six victory over Samoa. Uh, but the Springboks on the double there, beating Samoa and then beating Australia, 39 points to 20. Um, elsewhere in our table, uh, Scotland have had a mega win <laughs> over Georgia, uh, 52 points to 6. Uh, I scored 7. <laughs> so that's going to be a tough old game, isn't it? Um, and then finally, in the pool of death, uh, New Zealand. Oh, one point difference, 14 points to 13. As a, as a Wales supporter, I'd be happy with that score, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but then Ireland having a much better game versus Argentina, 24 points to 5. Um, so, as it stands then, uh, yeah, we are down in third, but we have the opportunity to climb. Now, one thing uh, that I did think about after filming the, uh, the last video was, I never looked at any of my tactics for my team, which was very silly. I was really struggling with the way uh, the USA were passing the ball. They were passing it really far behind the, uh, the attacking line, so it meant we lost all of our momentum. One of the reasons is our wingers are currently in the penetrating position, as opposed to switching them to being wide, so we can actually try and make the uh, the most of it. Um, the fullback being far is going to be useful. Not that Dyer was in a, uh, a great position for us. Um, uh, in terms of the pod shape, um, I actually might go flat. I feel like it would be better to just have a flat line. I feel like the USA are struggling at <laughs> getting in support of their own man anyway. Um, in terms of my pass chain, uh, I personally quite like the wide pass chain. Um, classic can also be useful. I'm not really a fan of a lot of these, uh, the, the one three three one. Um, I, I don't feel like they work in the game particularly, not that they, uh, they don't work in, uh, in real life, of course. Um, I don't think the USA is going to be penetrating any uh, very tight defensive here. We're going to go wide again on the, uh, on the offensive. Uh, defensive. Uh, classic flat line. Uh, drift. Uh, we definitely want to have uh, drift. Oh, in fact, maybe blitz. No, I feel like the uh, I feel like the French are going to offload quite a bit. Let's have um, let's have a drift defense. Um, the fullback position defend channel. Uh, no, I think I prefer to have a pendulum because Dyer was just out of position so much. Um, I'll keep the blitz as the secondary type of defense for us. Have them defend their own channels on the blitz. If I feel like we're getting the advantage, we're getting the pressure forward, that's fine. Uh, we want to keep the fullback far. Um, and the wingers, I am actually going to drop back though, because I can see them getting offloads and my wingers being out of position. Um, in terms of the uh, our actual options, we're going to swap to a couple two wide out. Uh, I like the rugby league. We'll keep the rugby league. We'll do a pot of three. Um, and to be honest, almost none of the other ones actually work. Uh, we'll do an option wing. There we go. We'll go for that. We have some set plays. We have a new thing. Now, actually, something I am going to do here. I'm going to take Carty off. He is a much higher rated uh, fly half, but Dibulus coming in last week, hopefully pronouncing his name uh, correctly. <laughs> um, but he, uh, I think he was so much better coming off the bench. I want him to start off and uh, I'm actually going to start Civetta on two. Um, and I believe he came on for Blakely because uh, as soon as he came on, we started winning more lineouts, even though I think his lineout score is actually worse. So that's going to be the, uh, the switch ups for this game. Uh, the second game, USA versus France going to be a big one. Let's get this one kicked off and underway. Alrighty then, guys. USA versus France. We had a tough old time last week, actually, uh, being able to get some uh, some headway. And I feel like the French defence is going to be even harder to get through than the Georgian defence. We only got one try last week. 
but anything can happen. It's the World Cup. It's World Cup rugby. Yellow cards, red cards, um, some penalty advantages. We're going to need to make the most of it. Um, I don't know if I want France to have a lot of possession. I'm not going to lie. It might be one of the sort of games where I really try and uh, hold on to possession as much as possible um, rather than kicking it away, even just to gain easy territory. Uh, we're going to basically see how the rucking situation goes. If we begin to lose rucks from having possession, uh, I may have to use a bit more kicking techniques to regain some, uh, some territory. But if we can hold our own rucks, uh, it might be worth holding it uh, in hand. That's uh, trying to work our way through, uh, through a couple of phases. There's our referee, Charlie Rasul, coming in, World Cup referee, uh, the only one in the game. <laughs> but it's a big game. I'm looking forward to this one, of course, on Legend Difficulty. Uh, always tough. There's our, uh, our hooker getting ready, feeling pumped. We're getting ready for this one. Right, Dabulis to get us uh, started out. Let's go for a, uh, a cheeky high one, kicking it a little bit short. I don't think that's actually going to make the uh, the distance there. No, it's not. Okay, apparently the wind was a little bit stronger than I expected, and we already give France a scrum. Lovely. <laughs> Why wouldn't I want to make this harder on myself than is absolutely necessary? Okay. I don't actually think we had a scrum in the first game versus Georgia. Let's see uh, how the USA scrum gets on. Uh, these are some good bonuses, to be fair, at this point. We'll take that. We we had a huge advantage. If we can... Uh... Oh, no. There we go. There, there's our advantage gone. Right, okay. So scrums are uh, off the table. <laughs> okay, DuPont's going to try and take that one quickly. Okay, that's okay. We actually had a, a couple of extra men there. We'll take that. Yes. There we go. Right, Basker. Just take it in. Okay, I need to set my uh, my line a little bit. Let's go back to four. I think four was nice last time. Right, Goff, little pop pass. Guerra not managing to get around. And a huge turnover immediately. I think that was Cyril Bayer over that one. Let's try and get out wide. Don't let him get through on the wing. Oh, and again. Okay, hang on. We're doing okay in terms of the uh, the rucking. This can uh, mean we might be able to try and make the most of this. Uh, they are competing as well, though, at, uh, at our breakdowns. Okay, Dolan, Dabulis, little pop pass. There we go. Campbell, can he get it out wide? He does. Rash, little chip over the top. Can he collect his own ball? Does, but not really making the ground. I was hoping Imori would uh, catch that and have the momentum to keep running. We'll try and spread our line a little bit wider. That's a good tackle on Antonio. Don't need him to get through. They're still going to the left. Oh, goes for the grubber kick. That's a, a cheeky little move. But uh, Duanu manages to get underneath there. Oh, don't manage to uh, recycle it. Right, let's spread our... Defensive line a little bit wider. Yep, I was getting ready for that offload. That's fine. A knock on. We'll take a scrum. We're not keeping it in the scrum because we're going to lose, most probably. Uh, but we'll take that great tackle by our flanker there. Right. In and out, boys. <laughs> we are not wasting any time with this one. In and out. Okay, good scrum. Here we go. Ball goes in. In fact, I might use my uh, my number eight to pick this one up here. Bang, we'll make the extra man here. Go left. Dabulus gets tackled immediately. And Antonio, hands in the ruck, doubling down on these infringements. That's what we need. Uh, we will 100% take that. That will give us uh, some cheeky meters. Let's see how uh, Dabulus gets on in terms of the kicking. Nice, into their half. Okay, making ground. This is what we need. Uh, there may literally be one opportunity to score in this game. <laughs> so if it arises... We need to take it right. Line-out situation was struggling last week. That is a good line-out, though. Dabulis again. Oh, maybe didn't need to give that one. Oh, but manages to recover it back. Let's try and spread this wide, actually. We have numbers. If we can go out wide. Campbell out to Brash on the wing. Again, some forwards. Maybe a nice little grab a kick around Ramos. Oh, what great cover tackle, though, by France. And Damien Pinot just locks it down. Hands in the ruck. Doesn't release the tackler. Arguable yellow card. Referee. Maybe? Oh, man. I can't believe they got away with that one. Right, let's put this one into that five-meter channel. And uh, I know what's coming here, boys, because we had a very strong driving maul against Georgia. The referees decided to stand in the middle of the line-out. Can't stand there, ref. It's got to be an infringement. Right, let's go to the back. They don't compete. France go for the big drive, too. In we go. Everybody in, boys. Big USA drive. It's a try! Guerra going over. The USA Mall is one of the things that is genuinely looking like it's working well for us. It was uh, a lovely little piece of play from there, though. Driving forwards. Uh, France did try and counteract. Actually didn't commit that many men. They obviously thought we were going to try and spread it wide. They didn't actually feel the threat 
of our mall. Uh, the mall is uh, something we can utilize for the, the rest of the tournament, but that is a nice time to get an early try, because I can absolutely give no guarantees in this one uh, that I'm going to be able to concede zero. <laughs> it is France. They can score. That's a interesting kickoff. It will get over that, uh, that 10 meter line. What a weird uh, kick that managed to actually get there. Okay. Another big line out. We've done. Oh, for the French line out is in absolute disarray today. I mean, I'm, I'll take it. I'll take it as a win. Absolutely. Oh, man. I got to work on my uh, my line out strategy. The USA line out strategy just leaves the uh, the fly half completely isolated every single time. I'm really not liking it. Right. Basker out to Brash. Little pop pass back inside. Campbell. Oh, he's charging on. Look at Campbell go. Just through the defenders. Oh, but they somehow recover that one. What a great little surge from him and Dabulis picks it up. Guerra, the try scorer, taking it on a crash ball. Okay, we've started losing our rucks. It's taken 25 minutes, uh, but it's looking like we're going to consistently struggle at, uh, at ruck time now. Oh, man, looks like there's no one out there. Get out wide. Don't let him get round. Cyril by with some lovely feet from the prop. Let's try and cover back this way. Oh, Entomac showing off. We haven't committed in, uh, in that one, but we'll wrap around the outside. That's fine. Um, okay, Villiers. Oh, great tackle out on the wing. Villiers is a slippery uh, player to uh, to tackle. Somehow France just gained advantage there in that one, even though we uh, felt like we were all over that one. Still struggling. That's a good tackle. I think it's on Francois Cross. Okay, they're going to box kick. Again, Dyer is uh, is out of position. I'm going to let this one bounce over the line um, and just tap that one down. We'll take the uh, the drop out from there. Um, where's the wind going? Let's drop this out from here. Dabulis, let's see if we can just kick this down. I want to try and put it right on the uh, on the touch line to uh, give them very little to work with. Not as good as I wanted that to be right. Damien Pinot, the man who arguably could have faced a yellow card earlier. I'm not going to lie. That... Uh, that cheeky hands in the ruck. Oh, Peterson. What a pickup. Goff to Dolan. Suddenly, they're away again. Brash has to try and outrun. Villiers does manage it. The grubber kick. Villiers on him. Like a rash. Goff manages to collect the pass back inside. Waldron takes it on. Campbell. Oh, gets shoved back. Not another big surging run from him. But huge ground made. Can we intercept? Doesn't look like it. Damien Pinot jinking around defenders. We've got no one out on this wing. We're not going to compete at that one. I just want the players to uh, recover here. Put down Entomac. That's good. Okay. We've gained a good position here, guys. I'm not going to lie. Let's see if we can go through, uh, through Dolan here. Because he loves a good smash. There it is again. Absolutely powerhouse coming in. Let's go for a drop goal. No idea what the uh, what the range is on this. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not bad. Okay, we're we're going we're gonna to struggle to get a kick like that. That's a decent clearance though from Ramos, which will take us in to half time. USA seven points to nil, showing off what the driving mall for the USA is capable of getting us that early try. And to be honest. France have looked in uh, in disarray today. Their lineout's been struggling. A couple of very loose passes that probably didn't need to be thrown. They're looking for the offload. They're trying to push too hard, and it's not working for them. Right. Um, most of the players looking okay in terms of stamina at halftime. Dyer's looking good, almost like he hasn't been running. Uh, <laughs> should explain why he's not in position a lot. Um, I might have a look if we have a different fullback. I'm not going to lie. Dyer hasn't been great. I might have a look before the next game if we actually have a different fullback. To be honest, I'm happy with how the team's performing. I think like we did against Georgia, I'm going to hold out for the second and wait to see uh, when that uh, that fatigue kicks in and then maybe make some uh, some late-minute subs just to try and reboost the team. Okay, uh, we haven't actually got out to this left wing at, uh, at all. I was going to look at this guy's name, Maggi uh, or Maggi. <laughs> I kind of like Maggi. Uh, got a magic feel about it. I'm hoping that man can uh, come in and uh, really save the day as he did last week for us. Getting his beautiful try out on the wing. Right, going out wide. There's been some team talks for this French team in that locker room. Oh, but it doesn't matter because Basker steals it away. Brash. Oh, couldn't clear it downfield. I just wanted to get that one away. Okay, we've gained some uh, some decent position here. Let's just actually kick this one downfield a little bit. Oh, man. Back a tower. Off the line. Look at the line speed of this. He was just blitzed. <laughs> Very unlucky to have uh, caught that as a knock-on. Not going to lie. That was a great run by him. Completely caught my uh, my player off guard. Right. Big scrum. Here we go. Again, we're not messing about. I'm not keeping this in because I, I absolutely do not trust this USA team to uh, compete at the uh, 
at the scrums. Let's get this out. Okay, here we go. Spread it out wide. Here we go. The Bulis. Oh, man, everyone is sat very deep, but somehow we've made the numbers. We've got no momentum, though. <laughs> She's got to try and outrun Damien Pano. Uh, doesn't look like it. Didn't look like that was going to be uh, happening anytime soon. Waldron out there. Tonga Hua manages to uh, just clean that one up a bit. I'm trying to find my... Uh, Oh, Dolan's going to have to work there. I'm trying to find my fly half to kick this thing away, but uh, he seems to just be in the ruck constantly. Oh, man. What a tough ass there for the prop. <laughs> Take on Damien Pinot on the wing. They're still... We're doing okay in the uh, in the rucks, though. Good tackle there. And again, yeah, we'll take that spot right. We need to do something here. Dabulus, there you are, buddy. Okay, here we go. Put this one downfield a little bit. Let's regain a bit of territory. Ramos will most likely go for a counter. That's a good kick. Oh, how will the bounce look for him? Oh, that's a horrible bounce for us. Right, Dyer. Got to do something, mate. Oh, just taking it on the chin. Okay, here we go. A little pass again. Oh, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I want to go to the winger and kick it down the field. And for some reason, my scrum half decided no. <laughs> we'll play the short pass. What a great move there. Who's that? Gregory or Drake getting in there. Why would you pass to the center? That's absolutely appalling. And Julian Marchand goes over. Seven all. <laughs> all I needed to do was just hold out defensively. We could have been okay. Now we're going to need another score unless Entermac does something truly terrible here. Unlikely. Gets it over. Seven apiece. Oh man, how are our, how's our team looking? In fact, I might uh, I might already get our team uh, team prepped here. Let's just get everybody on uh, because I think we're probably going to go for a little bit of time before the ball goes dead. Uh, let's put Brakeley on. I, I still think that made a big impact. Let's take Peterson off. Um, Bonasso can come on for oh, Dolan. Dolan's been being a bit of a powerhouse in this game. Uh, let's take Guerra off. Um, I haven't given Ryan James a go yet. Uh, he's the inverse Irish lock, apparently. So, uh, who has better speed? He's 65. Oh, you know what, though? But as you came in and, uh, and sealed that victory last week, I'm going to keep him on. Let's put a new winger on that wing. Uh, Lopetti at centre of either of my centres. Cruz. Cru Cruz seems to always be in the way. I'm not going to lie. At least Campbell is doing something. Right. Let's do that. Let's have that set up. Let's get this one down. I need to try and get this as close to that touchline as possible if I can. Oh, man. It's just not there again. Look how nowhere near the touchline that is. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll take a little one-off run. That's fine. Okay. Put Entermac down. Right. Get on in there, boys. Right. Oh, look at our line. What is wrong with you, boys? Get out wider. So narrow. We're not going to be able to do anything from there. Right, that's a, uh, that's a better kick for us. We'll take that one. Right, Maggi, counter-attack right into Damien Pinot. Gets the offload to Cruz from nowhere. Let's grab a kick along the ground. We're going to get chased by Damien Pinot, who somehow actually even recovers the ball. What an incredible run by the French winger. We'll uh, wait for this to set up. They're going to have to throw very wide there. They do. Um, oh, and they're going to box kick downfield again. Right, Dyer, please be in position for this one. Thank you. That is a much better job by you. Right. Oh, back a tower again, man. <laughs> what is he, seven feet tall? How does he always get on the end of this? Right. Brash, kick that one downfield, boy. Let's try and gain some meters here. Okay, Ramos going to have to try and run it back. He does, but we can put him into touch. Okay. There's probably a net gain there about 10 meters. Allows us to get our substitutions on. Needs to happen. How many of these USA guys have, have the same beard? <laughs> There's so many identical players here. Okay. I'm actually going to play the uh, the line a bit different. I'm going to try and run with uh, with Basca a little bit more. Oh, there he is. The new boy on the field, James, making some good inroads immediately. That's uh, an okay pass. We'll take that one. Oh, Maggi can't manage to get around there, but does get around uh, Damian Pinot on easy ass. Right, Basca. Oh, terrible pass. Not going to go anywhere there. Look at my defensive line here. What is going on? Boys, set up yourselves a little bit better. Campbell. Just has to run it into a wall of players. There's not a lot else we can ask him to do. Right, Lepetti, potentially a bit of room. Somehow these French guys just do not bite. They do not take the tackle. They wait for the offload to come. Uh, are they going to go? Oh, there's a little bit of a hole there. That is a great tackle needed to be made. 
I'm going to spread uh, right again here. Yeah, I feel like they were going to go that way. That's fine. We can settle that one down a little bit. Oh, okay. Nearly. Nearly made uh, a bit of a difference there. Bang. Another good tackle. Okay. France are not making as much ground as they probably thought they'd be doing. That's another good tackle again on Valempsa. We're getting a bit narrow. I don't know why my winger is bitten in here. Okay, we've still got a bit of coverage. That's fine. Villiers doesn't need to go anywhere there. Right, Dyer's decided to come into that ruck for whatever reason. So we've got no fullback currently. Uh, oh, if they go for a kick over the top, we're going to struggle here. Okay, they've gone for a kick, but it's not anything too amazing. Right, Campbell goes to ground. Okay, the clock has turned red. Um... We've got half a pitch to run. <laughs> I mean, we could just kick it out and take the draw. You could argue that would be the uh, the smarter option. But, oh, in fact, I think Maggie's just done that by complete accident. Well, okay. I only have myself to blame here. I mean, USA will still celebrate here. This should still be classed as a bit of a win for them. Um, France will be disappointed to have had a draw. Because uh, they know there's the, they're going to struggle here to get out. Because... I think that puts all three of us at the top of our group um, on the same number of points, if I'm correct. So if we go on to beat Scotland next week, which was the team we were targeting, really, um, we can still do it. Seven all, though. Seven all. I was hoping for a little bit better. Seven all, though, guys. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I was hoping for slightly uh, slightly better. I, uh, I wanted it to be a little bit more. Right. In terms of uh, the rest of the games, then, let's see how that pans out. So, England uh, top their table. Three wins from three. I think they've already played their, uh, their next week's games already. Um, oh, in fact, a lot of teams. In fact, I think we've had pretty much all the fixtures now uh, confirmed. So, England doing well. Topping their table. Fiji come in second on theirs. Beating Japan. I mean, take the win. Take the win for Fiji there. Well done to them. Uh, South Africa, three from three. Springboks having a good run as well. Australia managed to come back to overtake Italy uh, and finish in second place in theirs. We are one point higher than Scotland. Oh, that's interesting. That is very interesting. So, we can theoretically draw against Scotland and still qualify from the group. So, um, France are out there on 11, just uncatchable. Um, but we did manage to hold a draw against them, which is pretty good. Um, and then finally in Pool D. So no one has played their final round of games yet. But New Zealand and Ireland looking like they're the ones getting out. Not going to lie, Wales down on two points. Argentina on zero, uh, unfortunately for the Pumas. Uh, but New Zealand and Ireland going to be kicking that one off. I'm looking forward to the next video, guys. If you've enjoyed this one today and you enjoy the rugby content on YouTube, make sure to drop this video a like and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos along with any news that eventually will come out about Rugby24. I hope you've all enjoyed this one today, guys. I will see you all next time for Scotland versus USA. Bye-bye.